Welcome to the week three game day preview for the Navy game, joined by head coach Bill O'Brien. Coach, what did you learn about the team in the battle on the road? Obviously, you came up on the short end of the scoreboard. What did you learn about the team's fight? Well, I was very proud of their effort. Uh, there's obviously certain things that we have to do better. Uh, we've got to do better in the red area. We've got to play better on special teams, and we've got to stop people on third and long. But overall, uh, very proud to be their head coach, and uh, they gave they gave great effort on, on Saturday. Talk about the defensive improvements from week one to week two. Obviously, like you said, you want to get off the field a little better on third down, but what did you see in that area that improved? Well, overall, you know, four turnovers. Uh, it's it's hard to lose a game like that. It's really frustrating. Uh, I thought the defense played, played really outstanding. Uh, I thought the defensive line got a lot of pressure. I thought the linebackers were very active, and the, the two corners, uh, Stephon Morris and Adrian Amos, had really good football games. So there's a lot to build on there. The coaches have done an excellent job on that side of the ball of, of – uh, of working hard in practice and, and getting these guys to improve and, and you can see it uh, and hopefully you'll see more improvement on Saturday. Moving ahead to this week, it's Military Appreciation Day. We'll start with off the field stuff first. Got a couple guys on the team, Brent Smith, uh, former Marine and PJ Byers active in the Navy. What does this day mean to the team? Well, those are two great guys. I mean, Brent Smith, I, I believe he's done two active duty. Uh, uh, he's been active twice uh, in, in Iraq and, and, and then PJ Byers wants to be a, a a diver, you know, a Navy diver. So you're talking about two special guys. We've got a graduate assistant on staff that whose mom, Stevie Williams, his mom was uh, was uh, in the Air Force for 26 some odd years. So, you know, you're talking about a very special day for, for everyone and, and we have so much respect for the military and what they do for us. So it's going to be a special day for Penn State. Let's talk about Navy's defense first. What do you see from that group on film? Very, very tough, uh, well coached, uh, different fronts, even front, odd front, uh, different coverages. Uh, just a, what you would expect from a Navy team, uh, just a very, very tough group of guys that play extremely hard. When you prepare for Navy's offense, do you have to throw everything out in terms of defense and change your preparation much more than you would any other opponent? Well, there's no question that uh, Navy's offense is, a, is an attack on your discipline and it's an attack on your toughness. And, uh, the, you know, they're, they're going to make sure that you play good responsibility football. And if you don't, they're going to hurt you. So uh, our, our guys are going to spend a lot of time on that this week and uh, hopefully uh, we'll come out on Saturday and play well but it'll be very challenging. You always know what type of effort you're going to get when you play a service academy. Yeah. How do you get a, get that across to the team during the week? Well we, I, I believe we give great effort too mm -hmm. so I think you just show it to them on tape you know you've got two teams here that are going to play extremely hard I don't think there's any question about that and and you know anytime you play a service academy you've got some guys that no question uh, are going to come out there and, and, and play 60 minutes of of tough, hard-nosed football, and, and that's what Penn State does. So it should be a great game on Saturday between two good football teams. What are the keys to the game, both sides of the ball? What, what do you need to do well? Well, on offense, we've got to be able to run the ball. We've got to take care of the ball, and we've got to stay away from the penalties, which I think we overall we've done a good job of that. Defensively, keep creating turnovers. Uh, again, play good responsibility football. Make sure that uh, you're staying awake because when, when they lull you to sleep is when they play action you. And, and, uh, and make big plays in the, in the passing game. So I think if we do that and we play discipline on special teams like we've been doing for the most part, uh, I think we'll have a good chance on Saturday. How important is it to get a lead early against a team like this that relies on the triple option? Well, you, you, you're not going to get many possessions. You know, you only expect to get about eight or nine possessions in the game because of the, the, the way that they run the football and control the clock. So you, every possession is precious. So it's going to be important to get a good fast start going on Saturday. Coach, best of luck on Saturday. Thanks, Tony.